assignments. I do not accept late assignments. This is what it is. If you have a technical issue, you know, we need to give me some proof for that and, you know, we figure it out. But pretty much everything is due Sunday nights at 11.59. After 11.59, you turn into a gremlin or you're, you know, your Ferrari turns into a pumpkin or whatever, whatever it is. So quizzes. These are worth half your grade. There's one at the end of most modules. So there's 18 modules. I believe there's 15 or 16 quizzes. Um, there are 10 to 20 multiple choice questions. Um, you have 25 minutes to complete each one. Um, and um, I will drop the five lowest scores uh, that are greater than zero. Meaning if you did pretty good on 10, 10 quizzes and you're like, screw it, I'm out. And you get five zeros. Um, I won't drop those because you chose not to take the, the, the test. So I'll drop your lowest scores minus zeros. So just note that. Um, you want to take all the quizzes is what, is, what I'm, is what I'm saying. The other thing is you want to make sure you take all of your quizzes on a computer, not on your phone. Um, Canvas really hates Safari. I mean, it hates it bad. It likes Chrome and it, it, it does okay with Firefox. Uh, Chrome is the best way to go. Uh, each module will have a short one to three paragraph response where you respond to something in the module. There's a prompt for it. It's the same for every module. This is a very easy assignment, but it helps you kind of reflect on what you just did. Um, lastly, you have the choice of the three final projects, which is a critical artist remix presentation, um, which is due by, the, I believe, um, right before finals week. And this is where you do a five to seven minute video presentation. You upload it to Canvas. You submit um, uh, a bibliography. And that's that. It's like an academic presentation um, that, that you do here um, where you basically present us with a critical artist that does critical artwork. And you'll be able to see each overview and each module in Canvas has an example of critical art, at least 2D image critical art. So it gives you a sort of sense there. Um, you can do a critical remix project. That's if you want to make your own critical art. This could be a video mashup, an audio mashup. It could be... Uh, a play on a logo, it could be an advertisement that you turn on its head, whatever it is. Um, again, this will have a, a short paper to do with it, one to two pages, where you basically tell us why your use is fair use, which you'll learn about in this class, what fair use is. And lastly, you can do a synthesis paper. Um, again, this is due Sunday before finals week. This is a five to seven page uh, paper, you choose a topic from class, you have to, you know, reference a few things, readings, videos, uh, legislations, cases from class um, on this topic. So, you know, we cover a lot of things in this class and maybe we don't cover something you're totally interested in. Like you may be really, you may be a pre-med major and you may be really interested in the patentability of medical procedures. And although we talk about that briefly in the class, you want to explore it more and you can explore it more in this paper and you can write about what you think about it and you can write about stuff from class. Or you may be a beat maker and you want to talk about digital sampling um, and legality of it in music making or whatever it is. You basically pick a topic from the ta class, you write a sort of what did I learn this term based upon who you are and what you like. Um, okay, so those are the three options. Now for each of those final projects, after week five, in week five you will have a short proposal due for these projects. Um, after that point, I will be putting you in the groups of five or six people and from week f after week five you will all meet at a time each week where y'all get together and y'all workshop your ideas. You develop your ideas for your critical remix projects. You show drafts, you read drafts, you talk through things with people. It's a workshop idea. It's a great way for people to be like, well, have you heard this? Have you seen, have you seen this? Well, what have you thought about doing this? Or you get to run through your presentation a week before and get some feedback, all that stuff. Um, it's, they're 
each assignment scaffolded. So like, you know, by week seven, you should have this done or whatever it is to kind of keep you on track. And at the end of the term, you'll be able to grade your peers um, anonymously. Class materials. All the readings for this class, everything is on the canvas. There will be in each module, there's a thing to do before each class. Um, academic misconduct. Cheating, cheating's bad. You shouldn't cheat. Cheat, cheating's bad. Uh, you're only cheating yourself, says my pops. Um, listen, you can read the whole University of Oregon uh, conduct code. I hate cheating. I don't like people who, who cheat poorly. The people who don't cheat very good get caught. Uh, uh, Tom Brady. <laughs> I was a Pats fan, or I was an NFL fan. I'm a recovering NFL fan. Um, but you know, you can, you know, here it is: plagiarizing, uh, you know, copying someone's words without attributing it. That's bad, right? Quote, uh, paraphrasing someone without attributing or citing them. That, that's that's that, that's bad. Um, don't, don't do that. That's bad. Sorry, I'm teaching a South Park class this term as well, so uh, Mr. Mr. Mackey's in me, okay? Um, uh, yeah, so that's how you can cheat in this class. Um, quizzes uh, are open notes, so there's no worries on that. You can use your notes. A lot of the questions are applications, so it's not just what did you write down each class, but how can you apply that information based upon examples that I give in each uh, lecture. So you really, really, really want to pay attention to the lecture videos because that's where you're going to have the good stuff. Um, the slides won't have the good stuff. Um, so you can use your notes for quizzes, but cheating would be like taking a quiz with your roommate at the same time or getting all your homies on Zoom and doing the quiz together. Um, that's a bad look. I will punish you to the highest degree. I don't care. Um, so don't cheat. Cheat cheat is bad. Um, accessibility. Um, you know, when I was in college, I got diagnosed with ADHD and dyslexia. What a great combination, uh, especially if you're going to go through school for 11 years and uh, college for 11 years. But, um, you know, I get it. We all learn a little differently. We all are a little handy capable, you know, whatever. But if you're working with AEC um, and you have accommodations, obviously I'm going to work with you all on that. But do make sure you reach out to me about that specifically for quizzes so I can make sure that you have you know more time um, for stuff I just want to make sure y'all have time so that's really important that you that you hit me that you personally hit me up about about that um, also if you're an athlete or whatever you know um, I'm able to accommodate your schedules but since this is like a online class it's like kind of up to you there's no like class Thursday at noon or whatever, y'all kind of got to uh, hold it down. Also at the bottom of the syllabus, you'll find a bunch of resources. So AEC, um, bias response team, whatever y'all need um, for, for y'all to have. Um, but I give y'all, you know, all of the information uh, for, you know, IT and help and all that um, here. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's Cine 230 Remix Cultures, the real Dr. Dre, a.k.a. DJ Fu Stamp. Uh, you're going to hate my voice by the end of this term, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you could probably like pitch down the video so I sound like a grown man. Um, but don't go anywhere. We're going to move on to a little tour of the canvas. I can take you through the canvas. You can see some of the modules and all that stuff um, there. Um, and so we'll take you through so you can see a little bit of that and you kind of get a flow for this. But uh, hope y'all are good. Hope y'all are taking care of yourselves. You're happy and healthy and all that good stuff. Um, I will check you on the flip. Uh, and I'm happy to have you in our class. All right. So um, don't touch that dial. We'll go check out the canvas next. Real Dr. Dre.